convenience store along with a taco stand. This is how one family turned their frustration into a profitable business. The problem was that there was no local manufacturer of that, that, that specialty tortilla, which is a little small tortilla. So we were going to Rio Bravo or Reynosa. There were some problems. We would get to the place and they would try to sell us tortilla that they couldn't sell two or three days before. And we had to bring tortilla for the whole week so we didn't go every day for our needs. So that's when I know when I got a little frustrated with that, I said, yeah, I'm going to make my own tortilla. And that's how we started. Gilbert and Dahlia Rodriguez have been business owners in the Rio Grande Valley for over 20 years, supplying the RGV with Montes Tortillas. The Rodriguez's started making these specialty tortillas for their customers at their convenience store taco stand. As demand increased for their tortillas, they decided to start distributing to other stores valley-wide. We bought a van and we started off with one little box in the middle of the cargo van. And we've grown to, we have five delivery vans now. I asked Gilbert and Dahlia who motivated them to do what they do. We both come actually from families that started from the ground and made something, made businesses, built businesses. They taught us that hard work and honesty will get you places. Us younger kids, we helped work the store and we didn't get paid, but you know, we were helping. I asked Dahlia if there were any high school clubs or classes that she was involved in that today help her run her business. I was in DECA, Distributive Education Clubs of America, and they taught us a lot about business there. Dahlia saw her parents work hard, and so she learned a lot from just watching them. My dad, when, when we were growing up, he was a foreman. So he had several employees as well out in the fields. And my mother used to do what she knew about bookkeeping. This is what Dahlia had to say about facing the challenges of being a business owner. We started with another company before and we failed at that one. And it's okay to fail. You just get back up on your feet again, start something else. You know, failing is all part of life. Just don't give up. This is Gilbert's advice about how to start your own business. Start saving, because you never know when the opportunity will come up to either start a business or take over a business. Any of those things that you want to do will require some capital. Mm -hmm. So start saving with as little as, as, you know, or as much as you can. Mm -hmm. When the day comes, you'll be ready, you know, you have a little bit of money, so that people take you seriously. Because a lot of people want to get into business, but they have no money at all. So they have nothing to lose, really. Once you put your life savings into something, you're gonna look after it, you're gonna put your best effort. Dahlia also spoke about the character and good morals needed to run a business in order to take good care of customers and employees. Hard work, be honest. If you give your word to somebody, it doesn't matter if it's not on paper. Your word is your word, and that's how we grew up. You know, that's the way our parents taught us. If you're going to say something, you do good by what you said. Gilbert and Dahlia also know how to work as a team. As partners, as a husband and wife, I know Gilbert's good qualities, what he's good at, and he knows what I'm good at. I try not to step on his toes, and he tries not to step on my toes. Respect each other's good qualities. You may be watching and wondering if you have what it takes to be a business owner like Gilbert and Dahlia Rodriguez. It doesn't really matter where you come from, but if you can incorporate good values into whatever you're doing, it'll help you because people start to respect and believe in what you say. We do not put poor quality tortillas out there or things that we would not eat ourselves, we're not gonna sell to our customers.